Kate Sausage Sleuth. Oh, it's me, your favorite Sausage Sleuth, Joe. We're playing Nancy Drew, The Secret of the Scarlet Hand. It's time for another new Nancy Drew mystery, and I am ready to begin. This one, I have been told, takes place in the heart of America, which is where I live, Washington, D.C. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm assuming Nancy's going to run into me in this game, because if you go to Washington, D.C., I'm in D.C. Welcome to my latest case, oh. Secret of the Scarlet Hand. She, here, she's telling me about it already. Friend, choose either Junior or We're Senior gonna go Detective. With Dear Dad, greetings from the Dear new Dad, not Ned. at Beecho Museum in Washington, D.C. I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches no, you in how's Africa? before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was awfully nice to submit my name not to the Franklin rest Roosevelt. of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity <sighs> while I'm in between Wait, what? Cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. Not Maya, oh, Maya. in the news recently, in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently, it's created quite a buzz among experts in the field. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Just imagine, this fragile. artifact has been buried for hundreds of it years. It doesn't even say and fragile. And <laughs> unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short-staffed at the moment, and they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I ah! presume. I'm Joanna Riggs. <laughs> Welcome to Beach Hill. Hi. I was just checking the lock on this display case. This is one of the museum's most treasured oh, she's pieces. A hand model. A carving of King Pakal. Who is King Pakal? Pakal assumed the throne at age 12. Can you imagine? That was 615 AD. Age he 12? For President? Years better than the these nine year olds. The civilization. Is that Jade? Who keep running? Yes, the Maya loved Jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the world, and it's priceless. It's which pretty. means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? <laughs> Leave it to Taylor Sinclair. Pause! Nancy said, how did the museum acquire it? And she said, hold on. <laughs> she said, you don't want to know who I had to kill to get this. Oh, can y'all even hear me from over there? <laughs> she said, I did some unspeakable things. <laughs> Crimes. I know that crimes have already happened. All right, play. This is. I like her. She's my favorite it's already. A wizard. When it comes to these deals, you'll meet him later. No, she's talking about wizards. Now then, Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber is not kid stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. She said, "Sit down, rich dad." She said, sit down, Rich Dad. Also, becoming a curator at a museum, um, you don't get this job with zero experience. And quite frankly, it's really hard to get a job like as a curator at a museum. I don't know how they did this in, in D.C. <laughs> so I can already tell you she's gotten some help from her dad to get this position. Um, if there's one thing I've learned from my father... If there's one thing I've learned from my rich father, it's the value of hard work. Not born into money. <coughs> and not this. Not I worked for what I have. Please tell me more about the exhibit. In addition to our permanent collection, we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors oh, around it? the world. Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith too, Beach Hill Sora numero uno. Y'all don't know this about me, but I know a lot about Mayan culture because I used to play Amazon Trail. And um, they talk about stuff in that video game. <laughs> um, This monolith, it's an important discovery? Yes, a hot young team of archaeologists, Ooh, how Americans hot. and Mexicans both, dug it out of a cave near Palenque. Every curator Palenque. from here to Siberia was trying to get a hold of it, but I'm the one who closed the deal. I mean, she herself is like 19, right? 
How is she? <laughs> she those job, the job descriptions always say you have to have like 14 plus years of like museum archival. How did she get this job? Why did you mention the nationality? <laughs> Why did you mention the nationalities? Why do you mention the nationalities of the archaeologists? Because in archaeology, everyone wants to be king of the sandbox. I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts <gasps> available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. Who's that? Who's Alejandro Del Rio? Ugh, wouldn't you rather hear about the monolith? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. What purpose did the monolith serve? According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special request of King Pakal himself, but we don't know what its purpose was. Who's Henrik? What kinds of glyphs? I know what glyphs Who's are. Henrik? How did Henrik she get this job Hill, without knowing what a glyph is? World renowned expert in <laughs> Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. She got a job at a Mayan museum without knowing what a glyph is, and she self-made, Mama. <laughs> she. She flew her private jet 14 minutes to get here from New Jersey. <laughs> Do you think the glyphs hold an important message? I really don't know. The Maya were at their peak during Pakal's reign. Yeah, After I'm going he died, through it. things began to go downhill. The civilization never regained the oomph it had under its most extraordinary king. Do you think the glyphs were intended to be a message to future generations of Maya? If the message on that monolith is from King Pakal himself, it might give us a clue. Credit for a discovery like that can only spell one thing, my dear. R-E-V-E-N-U-E. -E. Anyway, Ravens? there's a list of tasks for you in the lab. <laughs> Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. Ra Ravenu? Shouldn't I have more training? Shouldn't I have more training? Don't worry. Revenge. You'll be swing things soon enough. Go ahead and take a look around the museum. I'm sure you'll find the monolith, Mui and Terrasante. Or just roll up your sleeves and hit the lab. How is she in this museum? And is that, it is this much of a problem? <laughs> Thanks for the orientation, Joanna. I'll talk to you later. Bye. How are the tasks coming along? Oh. I haven't seen the list yet. <laughs> well, get cracking. The last deputy curator was like a tempest in a teapot around here. Caused me nothing but grief. Who was this so-called tempest? I'll tell you about Sunny some other time. Oh my god, Sunny I've June? Got work to do. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. The great plaza of uh, something, Guatemala. It's too small to see any of these, any of the text. I'm seeing the game. I don't, y'all are seeing the game a little bit bigger than me. I'm seeing it in 640 by 480, just so y'all know. Art in the Americas, in Guatemala. Oh, this looks like, this looks like some sort of advertisement for medication. What medication is this an advertisement for? How did a New York society, not a New York. Oh, it's Prudence Rutherford. She did not look like that in the game, did she? In Blue, was she the one in Blue Moon Canyon? Inherited it. Yes, well, let me put you over. Oh, she's got like a haunted necklace or something. Okay. Topeka Commission for the Arts. How cultured. Is Nancy being sarcastic? You notice she doesn't organize a pride parade. <laughs> you notice she hasn't organized a pride parade.
Oh, that's cool. Oh, first of all, this museum doesn't exist in DC. This is not a real museum, by the way. Is there an address for it? Oh. Exhibition hall. Ooh! Oh. Traveler's Guide to the Museum. Finding the Maya. A lost civilization speaks. Wind God. Oh, okay. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a straight line. This is a freaking tiny museum. Major contributors. Oh, boy. <gasps> Skeeter Trudeau. Oh, my God. Persimmon Woods. These real people. The Ugrin. Bubba. F Bubba Fatsis. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Dagmar Burke. Wait. No, that was Dagny. I'm thinking of Dagny. They're just making up names. Topeka Commission for the Arts. That's the organization Prudence Oh Rutherford shit. I already for. found out this the whole game. Does that say Peter Piper? Kimbo Kimbo Swafa, Stymie McGruff, Yoshi Piffin Path, Penelope Kitty, Nancy Drew Fan One Two Three. <laughs> oh, they had fun with this. Oh, I love some humor in my Nancy Drew games. I ain't even joking. So that must—that's the exit. This is the exhibition. I'm supposed to go to the. Didn't they say go to the? Oh, they say go to the task room or something. Oh, this is kind of nice. Oh, maybe this room. Employees own. That sounded like a prison door flying open. I thought that said hot water, and I was like, ooh. Shipping and receiving. Oh, you are not supposed to give. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Me trying to pull the fire alarm? Oh, who are you? You must be Nancy, the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik Vanderhoon. Is he supposed to have an accent or is he just, is he just, is that just an American accent? Pleased to meet you. That's right, I'm Nancy. Joanna tells me you're translating the glyphs on the Palenque monolith. Yes, he looks it's like Jude Law. Project. The opportunity of a lifetime for me. He kind of has like a transatlantic 1950s accent. Yeah, he kind of looks like Jude Law. Why are you wearing that mask? Oh, these dusty old artifacts are murder on my allergies. <clears throat> anyway, what can I do for you? Um... Joanna turned me loose without too many instructions. Do you have any advice for me? Well, as you've probably heard, the museum is closed in preparation for the exhibit, so you'll have free run of the place. Please explore. The sooner you get to know your way around, the better. Think of the lab as your home base, your center of communications. Okay. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you will leave a note or a voicemail here, so check in often. I'm very busy with my work, so you're going to have to be pretty independent, but I suspect you wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, tell me about the deputy you know curator. The deputy curator who is here before me? Hurricane Sunny? I'm afraid I did. If he wasn't losing paperwork or setting off the fire alarm, he was cornering our visitors with his theory that the Maya were abducted Not by sunny aliens. June. I'm afraid you'll be cleaning up his messes for a while. Everyone knows the Mayans weren't abducted by aliens. The Mayans were aliens. I'm curious about <laughs> your work. How do you go about translating a glyph anyway? It can be a complicated Everyone process. knows. Involving research, piecing lots of different elements together, and a healthy dose of guesswork. Yeah, he's wearing a shirt and pants. First of all, khaki with khaki, that's a no. Um, 
It looks like he's just naked and wearing a belt. He's wearing clothes that match his skin tone. So there isn't a definitive dictionary of Maya glyphs where you can look things up? Didn't they crack I'm the Mayan code? Not. You see, glyphs are so intricate and full of subtleties. I watched a documentary that on it. Meanings may be embedded in a single glyph. So three distinct looking glyphs may all translate to mean sunshine, roughly, but with different nuances. There is so much we still don't know. Lucky for me, I guess, or I'd be out of a job. I'm pretty sure they... I'm pretty sure that they translated it. I'm pretty sure there's a documentary on Disney+. Plus. See you around, Henrik. That will be fine. Not ancient aliens. Uh, flashback to my relatives. Do not operate without permission. I'm just going to stick my whole head in that. Wait, so what's the mystery? I don't think there's a mystery yet. Oh, I bet the, I bet the monolith gets stolen. Oh, here we go. Oh, check voicemail often. Oh, you have to... You have no voicemail. Press <laughs> yeah. 9 for an You have to pick up the thing first. 9... One, one. All right, it's another game. I can't dial 911. You have no voicemail. Press 9 for an outside line. Voicemail. It happens in a bit. Okay. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. May I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, Who am I calling? great to hear from you. How's the internship treating you? Are Joanna and Henrik showing you the ropes? Um, Beach Hill's an amazing place, but after that kidnapping case. Oh! Oh, did I just come from the Royal Palladium? Palladium? Is that the one in St. Louis? Is this game right after that one? Is that the one where what's her name gets captured? I don't remember. Did Zoe? Oh my god! I've got a lot to learn about the Maya, but Joanna and Henrik seem very knowledgeable. Glad to that was hear a good you're one. settling in. I'm off to a meeting, but feel free to call me if you have any questions. I'm sure everything's going to be smooth sailing, Mr. Rose. Bye, kiddo. Ugh. Not kiddo. Oh, here we go. Vendors. Super Archiver Framing Tools. Contact Irene. Silvio's Curatorial Bonanza. Sale on Bubble Wrap. Ooh. Order ASAP. So should I do that? The microscope doctor, last service, next service, 1216. Keep it real restoration. Oh, here we go. Curator task. Oh, this is kind of a checklist. Not Sunny was here with aliens. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I didn't finish it yet. I haven't finished that task. I didn't finish it yet. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> sort out shots of pottery, porter, not pottery, and reassemble pot at lab workstation. So I'm in the lab. I guess I could sort out some pottery right now. Is that drugs? Oh, that's a knob. Oh, can I eat this? <coughs> Oh, sorry. Being around all these dusty ancient artifacts sure makes me sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Property of Sunny June. No Coco Kringle for you, buddy. Notes, 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 notes. I hate that bull, bull game? B-U-L game? It's all random, or is it? Four pieces in the corner. Try Pascal's triangle. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Aliens did it. Huh. <laughs> oh God. Oh, 
Oh, that might be helpful. That audio narration thing is going to be so much work. Luckily, borrow Joanna's notes. Stole it. Oh, there's a garden. Oh, yeah, because that's where they're going to put the monolith. That's like... Oh, my God. Do y'all remember? So, the story of, like... Did London get their needle first? For a while, every, like, major city wanted, like, ancient Egyptian artifacts. And now they're just, like, all destroyed by acid rain at this point. Like, Cleopatra's needle or whatever. Oh, the periodic table. Oh, these are pottery it shards. It looks like some pieces are missing. Oh, well then I'm not even gonna fucking bother. <laughs> oh, wow. Missed that quickie wiki what episode? I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Since when has Nancy asked for permission to do anything? Who gave you permission? Instruction manual. Yeah, this isn't. I don't care about this quite yet. Well, if pieces are missing, what's the point, right? Game in Way, New Mexico? Cultural Center. Might need that in the future. I don't know yet if Ant... Aunt Nancy. Oh, is this DHL? No, it's my sister. I'll call her back later. We just talked. I thought it was my Tama mail. I'm sorry. It's locked. Oh. It's locked. It's locked. Girl. It's locked. So far, it seems like the buttons are put in uh, better places. Oh, maybe there's some missing pottery in here. I'll text her back. I'm in the Beach Hill Museum solving a case. We shouldn't mess with this. This looks like a bomb. This is the emergency. Like, if something goes wrong in the museum, we activate the uh, self-destruct. Oh, I don't have a key for that, do I? No. No. Oh, dang. They sure lock up everything in this museum. Clap, clap. <laughs> clap, clap. Sunny stuff. Oh, no. What's on the disc, y'all? Oh, there's some of the pottery. He stole some of the pottery. Sunny's nudes. They never, things are never this secure. It's good, good for them. Someone knows how to run this museum. So this is like paper, right? That you pull out to wrap on, to wrap stuff. Oh my God, this is the worst font. Oh my God. I cannot read that. Receive it, so that's where the deliveries come from. Okay. Did I get the, all the pieces, or there might be more pieces? I need to find another piece. Got it. Okay, that answers the question. Great. All right, I guess let's learn some stuff. We can I look at these. No. Nope. Oh, I don't need any hot water right now. No thanks. It's very atmospheric in here, I guess. <laughs> Not the yeah. If the is the background music too loud? If it is, let me know. We can turn it down even more. It's I mean it's you know, it's a jam. This is where the guests first of all, there would need to be handrails on this. I know that for a fact. Second of all, this is where the guests can go to get ritualistically sacrificed. Not too loud? Okay, it's a vibe. I Good. need to find a temple key card. You don't need to yell in the temple. 
I mean, can anybody take me? Is that Baby Yoda? Is that an exit sign? Oh. Be sure to place your tip. Play against a friend. Play against a viewer. Try your hand at Ancient Maya War Game. The object is to capture some of the story. Run some of the Be sure to place your key card in the... Oh, I don't think I can do this yet. Oh, shoot. They're making me pay for this. I work here. That's cool. That's cool, too. Okay. They got some interesting artifacts in here. No? Yes? Can I sneak around? Oh! Oh, this must be the garden. Well, I need to go put that pot together. Too. Is this an indoor garden? St Stella? Stella? Stila. I think it's pronounced Stila. Of Noble. Cool. Oh. We went to a, um... We went to this really cool exhibit kind of right when I moved here and it was um, Women of Ancient Egypt. You would think it was at the Natural or the National Geographic Museum. One of the ones you have to pay to get in, but it was worth it. Oh, I wonder if I have to know what these mean. If I have to remember some of the Howard, the glyphs. This side looks damaged. Nancy <laughs> Drew, or should I say, Detective Drew, I'm Sinclair. What is this pencil mustache? <gasps> he did it. I don't know what the crime is yet, but, well, I do know what the crime is. The crime is the mustache, but he did it. Who told you I was a detective? I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I caught wind of your appointment and your The BOD? The Bottoms Very of DC? If I do I'm in so that group. Myself. The BOD? The Bottoms of DC Club? Oh, I'm in that. <laughs> the BOD. The BOD? That would be the board of directors, those cranky old cats. Oh. They do keep the ducks squared away around here. I'll give them that. So, how's this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Oh, that's the monolith? I thought it was going to be cooler. Um... But Beach Hill didn't buy this piece, did they? My understanding was that it's on loan from Mexico. Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, though, thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. I love that show. What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. Joanna told you to butt out? Of what? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. No thanks. You got me worried. You got me worried. Can't we talk now? Just meet me later. 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard? Is that a real location in DC? So this is the monolith? Oh! Oh my mo Oh! They paid for the 3D rendering on this one. I bet I have to put something in it. Interesting. <laughs> Nancy doesn't even know what it is. I bet I have to. I bet I have to stick something in it. They all have that except this looks one like looks this different. Looks like this side is missing a part. Oh, Nancy is gonna be the first one to stick something in the monolith, and it is gonna like turn into a robot, or it's gonna turn into a robot, and it's gonna turn into aliens. I can feel it, Mama. Aliens. Oh. What was that? Well, I'm not going to read these quite yet. If I run into a situation where I need to read, then I will read. As of this moment, I'm enjoy enjoying, enjoying looking at a thing. But I do have all the pieces of the pottery now because... I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, well, Gigi, welcome! Gigi Jicely, thank you so much. Good to have you here. 
We're just getting into this one, really. There. Now I can start putting this together. I don't think... Unless these... Do these rotate? These don't look like they rotate. Also, how am I supposed to put together a 3D pot? I guess she'll turn it as I do it, right? I mean, that goes there, does it not? Do I need tape? Oh, do I need, um, do I need Elmer glue? Should I get some Elmer glue? I mean, that goes there. Maybe that doesn't go there. <laughs> no, that goes there. Oh, do I need to get some Elmer glue? I'm not joking when I say I don't... Oh, okay. Oh. The table has turned. Oh, how the table had turned. Oh, okay, I need to probably build it from the ground up. I'm sniffing what you're whiffing. I'm whiff... I'm sniffing what you're whiffing. I don't know. What else goes on the bottom of it? Is it not a complete pot? Oh, there we go. Oh, I get it. There's a little crack here. Why is it crunching like a fucking Dorito? <laughs> Why is it crunching like a goddamn Dorito? Oh, sorry. Every time she's touching it, it's like breaking even more. God, I'm hungry That's now. That's done. Oh, you don't gotta scream. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go check that off the list. Where was that? Here it is. Okay, that took a long time. Bring Adenda to Monolith Loan Agreement to Alejandro Del Rio at the Mexican Consulate for Signature. Ordle, bu order, ordle Bubble Wrap. Oh, I know how to do that. That's Silvio. <gasps> 202! That's a DC number! Mama! That's my area code. I'm ready to dox myself. <laughs> Mama! We got the DC area code in the house. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Hang on. You have no voicemail. That's the area code, besties. Well, DC, I think technically, I mean, we only had one area code, and now I think we have two. Oh, I didn't need to dial the 202 part, probably. Oops. <laughs> you have no voice. Fuck me. There we go. I did. I already tried nine one one. They said no. Silvio's curatorial bonanza. Two o two four twenty sixty nine sixty nine. That's my number. Um. I'd, I'd like, like to place, place an, an order. order, please. Have you ordered from us before? Yes, I think so. We have an account number. Okay, good. That saves me a lot oh, of Oh, I'm paperwork. glad she remembered it. What's the account number? Oh, God, just... BH11. If I don't have an option, K. just say it. BH11... BH119K? Beach Hill? Are you serious? You sound surprised. I guess you were expecting Sunny June? I was expecting Beach Hill to settle his <gasps> accounts with me about six months ago. I've Fraud. sent all six of the outstanding invoices to a collection agency. And you jokers won't get another packing peanut out of Silvio Jr. ever. Do not call here again. 
He went in with the pl with the plosives, packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. They're packing peanuts. Oh, <laughs> not me marking it off. Wait. I haven't finished that task. I guess she can. Oh my God, she considers that done. She considered that doing the job. That's what she considered doing the job. All right, we'll call back. Was it nine nine six three? Packing peanuts. Silvio's Curatorial Bonanza is open from nine to five Monday through Friday. What the fuck Please time is Please call it? back during regular business hours. It's five. They don't answer the phone at five. That's fair. All right. Well, five. It's time for me to clock out. I don't think I'm getting paid at all anyway, so. How do I leave? Can I just leave the museum? Oh, that's the metro! <gasps> Did you see the tra Did y'all know we're still having to use those train cards? Those train cars? That was the old train cars, and we're still using them because they bought new train cars. And the new train cars are broken. Also, this is an old map. So the yellow line now extends up. I don't remember if it splits or not, but it extends up. Um, down here, so this is Pentagon City stop after Pentagon, and this is where we go to Costco. <laughs> I'm not going to dox myself. I'm not going to tell y'all what stop we are or anything. But there is a Costco in DC, but I think that one's always busy. I've never been to it. But yeah, that's the fucking Metro. Ma oh, the Silver Line's not even here yet. That's wild. Lafont. Yeah, you go to that Costco. We ha we go to Virginia to go to Costco. The only reason to go to Virginia. <laughs> oh, and the Fashion City, Fashion Center Mall is there or whatever. I sometimes have bought Pokemon cards at the... Oh, I need to click where I want to go. Oh, so Taylor Sinclair's office at... What was it called? Bingo Bongo Cherry Boulevard? Let's go see what the T is there. That's our fucking Metro! Wow. They, like, took a picture of it, huh? DC has a really clean Metro. The stations are pretty darn clean. Bingo Bongo? It's about time. Oh, my fears are like he maggots infesting my poor old carcass. Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. He just said a lot to me. Uh, I, that's a lot to process. Not I'm trying to cut back. No, thank you. You said Beach Hill is in jeopardy. I need to know why. Is he dead? The world is being ransacked, Nancy. Prudence Rutherford. A major patron of the arts had her fire ruby necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. Two weeks later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. Not her villa in Topeka. <laughs> Not her villa in Topeka, Kansas. <sighs> what does this have to do with Beach Hill? I'm just telling you, this community. Our friends and colleagues, my people, are being systematically trounced by thugs. Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something. Wait, what? Does Beach Hill Doesn't not have Beach security? Hill have a security system in place? The museum has a basic alarm system, but it's not exactly state of the art. I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. What the fuck do you I want me to do? Your concern, I'm like 18. What can I do to help? We need your eagle eyes. We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the stink of trouble. I'll do my best, but it sounds like what Our you security. Really I'm not getting paid anyway. Police dog. Don't play modest mouse with me. Okay, no more flattery. Hey, that's an interesting piece there by your desk. Modest mouse people call me Nosy Parker, but anyway, tell me something. 
Uh, probably this. Okay, no more flattery. Hey, that's, that's an trash. Interesting that's piece not art. There by your desk. Something tells me it's not a Maya artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The Didn't art we world see her is in another going game? bananas over her stuff. I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. It's his, um... Hold on, what's the, um... Didn't we run into Poppy Dada in another one? In another game? Um... That's his, um, what's it called when you, ha it's not a mood board, it's a, what do they call those things where it's like what you want your life to be like or whatever? Oh, and the carousel one? Oh, okay. Um, a vision board. That's his vision board. I'd better get going. <laughs> See you around. Wait, is that it? Want a cookie? Ooh, no. I no. better get going. No. Bye no. No, 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 no. That's not art. I have an art minor. I can say that. I have an art minor. I'm allowed to have that opinion. I'm gonna turn the light off as I leave. Yeah, that is the fucking metro. So wait, the Beach Hill Museum is all the way up here? This must be my hotel. What's the Beach Hill Museum doing up there? No, but no wonder no one's fucking visiting it. Put it downtown, sis. Oh, y'all just played this the other day. I'm excited. What is this? Holiday Inn. The music got really creepy, too. Um. Okay. I don't know if the walls look like this or if this is a smoking room. It looks like this, sm this smoking room. <laughs> look at this cord. It has turned the everything in this room beige. Oh, Choco! What is the fire thing down here? Oh my god, she doesn't just delete stuff, she burns it. Asked me to volunteer as an assistant cu an assistant curator. I'm volunteer as an assistant curator. This is how this is people think that you should just do shit for free. And also she's not qualified. Prepare an exhibit. Yeah, I met my boss. Met the epigrapher, epigrapher? Working on translating. Need to bring papers to the Mexican consulate. Pottery needs to be done. I don't know what... I wrote down their number, but I don't remember why. I'll call them too. Met the art dealer. So Taylor Sinclair's the art dealer. Be sure to check. Not Bess and George. Alright, I, I guess I can. Disc. Oh, that's what I that need is. A disc. I need a disc. I need a disc. Is this not a disc? I need a disc. Is that not a disc? I need a disc. So I can't snoop in my stuff, really. Oh, I'll call Bess and or George. Hello? Hey, Bess. A CD-ROM? What's new? Pouring rain. Bye, Susanna. Fire in the middle of a heated game of go fish, and I'm winning. Don't believe a word she says, Nancy. <gasps> Lovers Last quarrel. Time, I made mincemeat out of her. Anyway, we don't want to make you homesick. How's the internship going? So far, so good. There's Lovers a lot of excitement quarrel. About the upcoming exhibit, especially since we have the Palenque monolith. 
The who? The monolith. It's a giant block of stone she started recently screaming. excavated from a cave near Palenque in Mexico. Apparently, it's a very big deal. They think it's 1,500 years old. So, have you seen it? This, uh, monolith? Yeah, it's humongous. Must weigh a ton. Like how big? As big as a refrigerator? <laughs> Maybe Bigfoot's refrigerator. Sorry, Nancy, but how would a person tell this monolith apart from, say, some other big rock? Well, They're lovers. for one thing, it has Maya glyphs carved into it. Glyphs? Pictures that represent words or ideas, also known as logographs. Joanna says the glyphs might be a message from King Pakal. What kind of message? How does nobody know what a know glyph yet. is? Henrik Vanderhune, Beach Hills epigrapher, is working on a translation. Who was King Pakal? He's considered one of the great Maya rulers. He reigned at the height of the Maya civilization. Well, Nancy, you're sounding very curatorial. Very curatorial indeed. We've been worried that you would be a little bored without a mystery to solve, but it sounds like your brain will have plenty to chew on. The They're whole talking Maya a lot. culture is a mystery to me at the moment. A lot. The last thing I'm going to be is bored. I'm sure of that. Speaking of kings, this card game's not over yet, Bess. Yes, well, I hope you've got plenty of bait for your fishing pole, dear cousin. Okay, you two. I'll call back later. Call back soon. Yeah, and good luck. First of all, I've already told y'all in previous games, they're clearly lovers. The, this is the American dub. Okay, in the original Japanese dub, it's like in Sailor Moon. Uh, Uranus and Neptune were lovers, and then in the American version, they were cousins. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here as well. So, sit down. I want you to sh sit down. I want you to shut up. And I want you to learn something. <laughs> in the original Japanese dub... I want you to sit down, I want you to shut up, and I want you to learn something. Alright, I guess I'm going to bed. Does anyone know what time I'm supposed to be at work? Do I care? Oh. Nope. Oh. Um, stay at the hotel. Oh. I guess I want to get up at, like, I don't know, 7? Oh, they did this again! I love the Metro. Y'all know I don't even have a car. I haven't had a car the whole five years I've lived here, and I and it, you don't need it. Okay, take the bus, take the take the Metro. It's so nice. Um. Okay, I'm going to the museum. Take the bus. You just roll down the street. Just roll down the street. Hey, that is not... Good thing Franklin gave me the museum key. Oh, am I early? Oh, why am I still holding the key? Can I steal something? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that's the addenda. Paragraph something, 200 I total better days. better deliver this to Alejandro right away. The Mexican Embassy, 1970 Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, okay. That's not where Pennsylvania Avenue is. My Hummer to the grocery store. <laughs> I don't know why it was on the floor. I love that I live in DC because now I get to point out all the inaccuracies in the game. I get to be that person. <laughs> Insufferable. Um. Establishing legal, legal provenance. It's your duty. Oh, about art? Oh, that's fine. Is there anyone about, like, tra travel? How may I help you? 
Oh, hi. Um, oh my God, how bad is her Spanish gonna be? Let's do it. Buenos dias. Me llamo Nancy Drew. I have some paperwork. For Actually, you not as bad as I thought. Palenque monolith to Beach Hill. So you're Joanna Riggs' newest pirate in training. How does it feel to join the ranks with the modern day conquistadors? <laughs> not the modern day conquistadors. Oh! I beg your That's pardon. That's a read. How does a deputy curator become a pirate in your book? You had better brush up on your history, young lady. <gasps> read when her. The Spanish explorers invaded Mexico, they became known as the <laughs> conquistadors, or conquerors. They robbed the indigenous peoples of their wealth, not just their gold, but their artwork, their sacred objects. Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Absolutely, he said. Sit. He said, you're gonna sit down, you're gonna shut up, and you're gonna learn something. That's what he said. I understand, but it wasn't, Nancy said, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, but that was hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy said, Nancy said, but I didn't do it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, both of these aren't good things to say back. Alejandro, I understand that many crimes were committed in the name of exploration. Nancy, but that no! Was hundreds of years ago. What does this have to do with Beach Hill? There is more. In the 19th century, archaeologists discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Many of the dig sites were robbed, and the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. Just celebrate it so the public will enjoy it. Enjoy it. Learn about your people's great talents and achievements. What do you mean by questionable provenance? I mean, people used to... Nancy's like, people used to steal? People used to sell things on the black... What's the black market? <laughs> What do you mean by questionable provenance? An artifact's provenance is the story of its origin and ownership. For example, how it made its way from a temple at Chichen Itza to a museum in Washington, D.C. If the artifact's provenance reveals that it has been stolen, then that artifact must be returned to the country of its origin. Nancy thinks everything in the museum is Then the relics legitimate. of each hill must all be legitimate, right? No, not at all. Provenance documents are often tampered with or forged to cover up the theft. Because of this, thefts continue and a great deal of art is moved on the black market, even today. Unethical art dealers and greedy museum curators do nothing to stop this. And to you, these people... <laughs> No. Are you suggesting Beach Hill is Nancy, involved in these no. kinds of misdealings? If Joanna Riggs or that overstuffed pillowhead Sinclair had any decency, they would take measures to see that all Maya artifacts were returned to Mexico at once where they belong. Nancy said, Nancy just, why does she keep arguing? <laughs> Well, I think I'll have to chew on she some said, of these issues for anyway. a while, Alejandro. In the meantime, I do need you to sign off on these changes to the loan agreement for the monolith. Do you mind? I am still not happy that such a rare find will have its debut exhibition on American soil. But in my country, too, there are people for whom money talks. I will take those documents now. And rip them up. What's this? I guess I should give him the contract. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I have some business with Joanna at the museum later, so I will return the contract to her then, after I have looked it over. Actually, Alejandro, I think I'm supposed to take them back to Joanna myself. You may consider your mission accomplished. Well, uh, okay then. Goodbye. I love him. He really taught Nancy to- he really- He said, sit down and shut up, Nancy. 
Um, I want to go to the mall, but it won't let me. Let's see what time it is. I wonder how long he yelled at me. The metro still looks like that. That's like an actual picture of gallery place. Is are they still not at work? It's 8:30 and I'm still I can't believe these clowns. The knob is missing. Oh, I found that knob. Okay, Nancy. I hope these were swabbed. I feel like they're going to be dirty. This is how Nancy gets lice. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, are these the car? Nice. Oh, wait. What was this? I don't know what that was. That may or may not be a temple card. Oh, hi, raiders. Uh... Little Seaha, oh my god, thank you for the raid! Holy shit, thank you so much! Welcome, welcome, raiders. I think I have it set on. You have to be in the chat for like, you have to be a follower for 10 minutes or be in the chat for 10 minutes before you can talk. But oh my god, welcome! Welcome to Nancy Drew! We're here to have fun. We're currently in Washington, D.C. Um... And there's actually hasn't even been a mystery yet, so you're just in time. Oh, well, thank you so much. I love, let me tell you, I've got, what do I, after this one, I've got five more Nancy Drew games left. And I am like savoring them. They have been, I've been going through all of them for the past, like, what, two years now? And it has been a blast. Thank you so much for that. I'm playing them all, yeah, um, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, uh, new Nancy Drew, well, uh, or like the next part of the one I'm playing. Replicas of body shaping devices. It's like, um, Kim, Kim Kardashian's line of shapewear is in there. They, the, do museums have, um, yes, stick around, Raiders. We do have fun here. Oh, let's go talk to, um, <laughs> let's find Taylor again. If y'all are going to love Taylor, I'm sure I'll make some TikToks about him. He's a hoot. Am I supposed to find things in the, um, I mean, honestly, I would love to. Wait, did she unlock the- Oh, she stole it! Nancy Drew just stole an artifact. Wait a second. You can just steal? <laughs> Nancy Drew said, I'm the curator and I'm stealing it. Oh yeah, we're going to be playing more strays as well. Nancy Drew, I mean... Honestly, she commits a crime in just about every game that she plays. How do I leave? Oh, okay. We sealed it back up. It's locked. It's locked. Girl. It's locked. Wait, how did I open the other one then? It's locked. It's locked. Suddenly, that one is locked. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is... I bet I have to remember these, don't I? I bet I have to remember the glyphs, and that's going to be a problem. That's where Game Boomers is really going to come through later, I think. I didn't know we could just steal stuff. It's locked. It's locked. I guess the other one wasn't locked. Maybe Nancy's trying to teach him a lesson. She's like, look, y'all didn't lock it. And so I stole it to teach you a lesson to remember to lock the cases. <laughs> oh, this is the one that, what's her name was showing me? Nancy said, this is a lesson. Okay, we're back. We had a quick Tamagotchi mail opening. 
um, opening up the mail and inside of the mail was a, was some Tamagotchis and I did that and now we're back. I'm here to curate a museum. What I've been hired to do, what I've been called to do, and quite frankly, the best at, at my job. Not that get rid of the Neds in your life. I mean, that's true. I just feel like I'm going to need to know these glyphs and it's going to be a mistake that I'm not writing them down. That's okay. Oh, what else was on my list? Wait, wait, wait. What time does what time does literally everybody else get into work because it is now 9:30? What ha happened? Beach Hill's been hit. <laughs> Sit tight, Nancy. The police are on their way. What? <laughs> what? No, I don't mean open to the public. Just the other workers. Why aren't they there yet? Oh, didn't I steal that? Oh, I stole something, but I didn't steal that. I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. When has Nancy ever talked to somebody before touching everything? Not someone else stealing the thing that I couldn't steal, but I stole something else instead. Oh my god. Turning around in this game is not the move. Wait, where was her office? Oh shit, it's definitely not here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I gotta use my left hand. My right hand's hurting. So it's gonna be one of those days. I thought that was her uh, her lab's not the off uh, not uh, office. That's not a uh, office. Uh oh. Is that a that's the door to leave, isn't it? Oh no, that's it. That's their office. Oh, that's right. She has an office. Someone has cooked up my worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. She sounds like a 1920s detective. I'm sorry about the theft. I'd like to have a look at the crime scene myself. Did the police turn up any clues? The police took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. You want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene? That's fine with me, kid. Kiddo. What were their initial Kiddo. findings? Kiddo. Who knows? Right now, my priority is to get a move on this insurance claim. Oh. I'm not sure what to do with those exhibit narrations. Henrik can help you with that. When did Henrik come on board? I got an email from him one day saying he heard the news about Beach Hill getting the monolith. He said he'd drop everything to come here and translate those glyphs. He was even willing to take a pay cut. What could I say except giddy up? You're hired. What could I say except giddy up? Where was he working before? At the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center in New Mexico. <laughs> I thought it was Chaco, like Chaco Taco. No, that's a different word. Not her accusing, immediately accusing Alejandro. Do you think Alejandro would go to extreme measures like stealing to reclaim Mexico's artifacts? Who knows? Oh, first of all, I can tell you right now where you can get a Choco Taco in D.C. If you go to the Capitol building and go to the, so they, um, in the, um, the tour section where you, you go like to the basement and you can do the tours and stuff. They have a cafeteria and they have Choco Tacos. Just so y'all know, like I'm here with all the hottest tips in town. Okay. They have Choco Tacos there. I and in just some do. of the 7-Elevens around the city too. A Choco Taco is a, it's a waffle cone shaped like a taco, like a hard shell taco, and it's got ice cream in it and like hot fudge. Well, it's cold fudge at that point. Code, it's cold. Anyway, Taylor did it. <laughs> 
Right? That's my initial. So, I think so far. Wait, they announced today that Choco Tacos are discontinued? Are Choco Tacos discontinued? <gasps> they just announced it tw less than 24 hours ago? This is how I find out live on stream? Do y'all remember when I found out? Who, who did I find out who died while I was on stream? I found out someone died while I was on stream. Wow, that sucks. I'm going to talk about that in the podcast today. I'm, well, first I'm going to go to 7-Eleven and I'm going to see if they have any more in stock. First, I'm going to go to 7-Eleven. I'm going to see if they have any more in stock. Wait, are you saying I sound like Leslie Jordan? Tell me you've only ever heard one gay person from the South without telling me you've only ever heard one gay person from the South. <laughs> really? As if people on TikTok don't tell me daily I sound like Leslie Jordan. Oh no, he died. <laughs> ready to read your ass no <laughs> i get like 20 tiktok comp i'm sorry i went straight to there and i shouldn't have gone to from zero to ten so fast you were just quoting uh and i should have you were just quoting trixie mattel and i really should have respected that instead of saying You're totally fine. You're totally fine. I'm just used to literally getting 20 TikTok comments a day. I apologize. Getting 20 TikTok comments a day telling me I sound like Leslie Jordan. <laughs> no, no, no. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've had that. I've had that cooked up for the next person who tells me that. No, that was a good episode of Anna, uh, though. Nancy just rolls up in here and, and steals the police evidence, by the way. Not walking on eggshells? No. Y'all, I read some of those comments the other day. Here, didn't I? No, Leslie Jordan's alive. Y'all don't worry about it. It's a joke from, um, uh... <laughs> Hey, when you've been doing this for 15 years, you got to anticipate the haters at every turn. <laughs> Am I supposed to show this letter to... What's her name? Is Henrik even here? Oh, let's see what... Oh, I can't see what Hendrik, Henrik was doing. Not 15. Not I've been doing this since I was born. I guess we should go tell, um, Joanna about this. Need something? Have you seen Henrik? I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display <laughs> case. Sorry. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I? Fish not born food? in the game. Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. What is literally? Oh my god. Everything that she says sounds like a 1920s detective trying to be, like, sassy. What am I, fish food? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Who wrote her lines? Sorry, Joanna. I thought I was supposed to go to Henrik with all my glyph questions. The police showed me the note. It said, the magician suffers yellow death, whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for the curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. The magician suffers yellow death. I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. 
Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? She said, Nancy said, does this have to do with Mayan culture? And she said, how the fuck am I supposed to know? Um, you're a curator of the fucking Mayan Museum in the heart of the nation. I haven't seen Henrik since the theft. Where do you think he could be? Who knows? Not who knows, and then she leaves me alone. Isn't anyone worried that he took it if he's, like, missing? Or that he might be dead? Did we report that to the police? That part? Okay, I guess I'm supposed to now know how to run an analysis on paper. I don't think this is the machine for this. Oh no, I did it. Insert a sample and press start. Why do you need to go to college to, to get a degree to use this machine? I just figured it out myself. Okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the handprint. Now I've got to match it up with a known substance. Do I have any known substances? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's that one. Oh, shit, no! Why did it go back? Oh, the other, that one. Match. That's it! HGS. What's that? Is that salt? Is HGS salt? Is that salt? Oh, heart gold so silver. Oh, knuckle is salt. Hydrogen sulfide. Mercury. Mercury sulfide? That's a planet. Who would have gotten dust from Mercury? <laughs> Who could have... Maybe someone's a secret astronaut. I'm just trying to piss someone off today. Can I analyze this? That doesn't work. Okay. That doesn't work. Girl, turn it off and leave. That shit's loud. I wonder if Henrik's dead. Oh, maybe we should call Henrik's former employer. Choco Taco. <laughs> oh, Henrik's former employer, the Choco Taco company. You have voicemail. Press zero. Oh, nice. Nancy, hi. It's Franklin Rose. I'm calling because it's just... This theft is very bad news for the museum. You can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating, well, I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, I love... Thanks. I love... Sh sh everything Press shut up. Someone on the fucking board of directors, probably billionaires, millionaires at least, are asking this 18-year-old to figure it out instead of hiring like a team. When something gets stolen from a museum, they hire the best of the best. They hire like the shit. What was the number? 505. Oh, I don't know if it'll let me dial out. 
Oh shit. Okay, hold on. You have no voice. I don't I guess I won't dial the two oh Well, it's a five oh five number. That's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. So, oh, maybe I have to hit one before it, and it, then it'll know. Okay, hold on. That worked. <gasps> Look at me knowing about area codes. Or about, you know, country codes. Oh, shit. I called the right number. Taco Taco Factory? Nancy, something's come up and I'll be gone for a bit. Your mission, run through the temple activities, verify all questions can be answered based on info available elsewhere. We don't want a little rascal rebellion on our hands when the exhibit opens. Oh, Henrik. Oh yeah, I did do that. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. Record what now? Okay, I'll go to, I think I have a temple card. I think I remember it being this computer. Oops. Oh, there's one over here, too. Maybe it's the same one, maybe it's not. We don't know. Play against the computer. Play against a friend? We're sorry, this officer's... <laughs> The Nancy Drew game said, you're not playing this game because you have friends, Flop. You will play the orange... Oh, I don't think this is what I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to take the quiz. Oh. Not me backing out and I immediately lose. Not them recording me being a loser on my card. Oh, yeah, this is the part where I was supposed to remember these. This, my dear friends, is a job for game boomers. Nancy Drew, Scarlet Hand. How am I supposed to match them? I'm not memorizing this shit. Do y'all know that about me? I don't know if y'all know that about me, but I'm not doing that. Or y'all can tell me. That's the whole game? Oh, well then let's just see if we can have a dictionary. If someone's already written it. If someone's already written it for me, then that would be great. Just like a dictionary. Dictionary, Cliff? How do I count? Gl Here we go. Glyph meaning. Check your other thread I answered there. Oh, I'm on the Her Interactive forums. This isn't the move. Oh, no. Some of these Game Boomers guides are so old, the images are broken. The images are broken. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I found it. Okay, we're good. Oh, no. Oh! Okay, so I, like, click one and then click what it is. Someone really didn't... This image is not very well done. Me complaining... Me complaining about uh, how the guide looks. Okay. Oh, sh come on! Not what's the glyph for 20 minutes left. Y'all are all banned. Bixby, ban the chat. So this one right here, I think this means 19. Oh, is that how you do it? I think this means ink, like an e-ink tablet. I think this means road. I think this means north. I think this means black. 
And then I think that means throne. Ding dong. Was that the quiz that I was supposed to do? Hmm. I mean, to be honest, they need to close down this fucking museum because they had like pieces of pottery scattered around. Oh, okay. This is the museum guy. Be sure to place your temple card to receive credit. Activity instructions quit. Let's do the quiz. Um, over which city in present day Mexico? All right, I know this. Um, it's Palenque. What is the name of Pakal's mother? I know that. That's Lady Zot Pook. What is the name of the calendar? Oh, I know that. That's Tolkien. What is the name of Supreme God? Oh, I know that. It's... It's Zomna. What is the name of the modern... Oh, I know that. That's Kish. Uh, fucking... Give me an easier one. Oh, what's this? View your progress. Quiz matchup bull. Oh, I remember... Oh, so these are the ones I, I did the quiz, I did the matchup. Now I have to play the game. All right, I understand. <laughs> the spelling accuracy. I watched that documentary on Disney Plus. Oh, thank you, phlebotanist. <laughs> thank you for the bits. Uh, spookiest Courtney, thank you for the bits too. I already forgot what that word means. <laughs> much Courtney uh Samantha 420 thank you for the gift sub I do appreciate that autumn I don't even remember what I was saying who knows if it was a deer chat thank you for the bits uh Kit Kat Moss they do always have a nice a nice one except for the alarm blueberry Nate, thank you so much too I appreciate it not Leslie nope thank you yesh queen and Autumn, thank y'all so much again. I appreciate it. The object is to capture all of your opponent's warriors by bumping off all his or her pieces by landing on a square occupied by them. Each player has two turns. You must roll the corn dice on your first turn, but can pass on your second turn. If a warrior runs off the playing field, he will return in the opposite direction. Oh, that's right. You will be the orange warriors. The computer will be blue. You must roll for the... Com oh! Oh my god! We played this with that little... That little gremlin. Do y'all remember that little gremlin? She's only getting the half the story. And she's okay. <laughs> We're talking about who? Jane! The fake British gremlin. Chucky's sister. Bull roll pass away. Hey. Hey. So the goal is to land on them, I'm pretty sure. I, ju I just don't hey. think it's fair that I'm rolling for the computer as well. Wait, I'm just I, playing against myself. I just have to make sure one side wins. I get to even choose if I, they pass. They sound like Star You in Pokemon. Did I insert my key card? Oh. You're right. I should check to see if I did or else it won't count, right? Thank you for reminding me. I was about to do something for free. I'm already doing this job for free. I have to land on him. Thank y'all for telling me. I appreciate that. So this should be really fucking easy to win. Hut. 
Hi. Oh my god. Hi. Uh-oh, they better not get a one. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, it's really fucking awful that you have to play both. Hi. 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 Oh shit. <laughs> I should have clicked no. Oh, it's getting close now because I'm a fucking idiot. You better pass. You better not roll a one. <laughs> Son of I'm losing and I'm playing both sides. Hey Genova, welcome. I'm losing and I'm playing both sides. Now we're back in the game. <laughs> now we're back in the game. Guess who's Hi. back in the house? Hi. 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 Do I just have to capture one more, I guess? Hi. Okay, we're finally winning. Hi. Ooh, that's risky. Hi. You better pass. Hi. Oh, nice. Hi. We had a good run. Now, should I click reset or just leave? <gasps> nice! Now what am I supposed to do with my card? Oh, I guess I just marked it off the list, maybe. How long is this one, by the way? Is this one of the ones that's, um... Y'all think this is, what, like four? Th three episodes? Sounds like a prison door. I swear to God, the next person who says there's 20 minutes left. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Not probably too long. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. Oh, I I'd didn't have to do to that? See if I'm done with that. I thought I was supposed to do. Oh no, he told me to do that. Your mission in the meantime, run through the activities. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I got you, Henry. I got you, Henny. Oh my God, let's call Henry Henny. I got you, Henny. You have no voicemail. Not there's two ten minutes left. I don't think he really worked anywhere. I think he lied to me. I'm starting to think they closed the old Choco Taco factory. Now, was that the only clue, Nancy? Oh, there it is. One, five, oh, five. Yeah, I'm dialing that. What time is it? 315. <laughs> they still let you click into this even after you did it. I wonder if there's another pot I'm supposed to do. This whole lab. Is this a 3D printer? <gasps> Me, laser. Oh, I bet it's a laser engraving machine. And what I'm going to do. Oh, some numbers. No, that's good. Thank you, Pariah Kiri. I only work from the... Okay, I'll call him from the hotel. It's a laser engraving machine, and I'm going to engrave the back of this ancient Mayan relic 
and it'd be like, XOXO Nancy was here. XOXO love Nancy. I'm leaving. I need a break in the middle of the day. <laughs> Nancy said, I need a break. Sometimes you just need a mental health break in the middle of the day. The way that I memorized the phone number, it's only like three numbers. Does nobody answer their fucking phones these days? Really? Fucking really? Everyone leaves work at 3 p.m. in this game. The clock just jumped. I don't know. I don't know why nobody answers their phones. There might be a certain time window. That sounds about right. Well, I've worked really hard today. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Me spiraling and going back, going to bed at oh, a.m. Yeah, well, like 9. It's not not push it. Nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> Fuck that mess. Who's Franklin? Oh, I remember Franklin. He's rich. Only 18 of hours of sleep. How am I supposed to function? You've reached the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. The center is now closed. Regular hours are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. seven days a week, except on major national holidays, when we are closed. Oh. All right, chat, I guess we're going back to bed for an hour. I'm upset about Choco Taco too. I can't believe I had to learn that information live on stream. Yeah, there's a children's show about a turtle named Franklin. I might have to trigger some stuff before I can call certain numbers. That is ridiculous. That is not how phones work in real life. This is hateful. Oh, I guess we could go see Taylor. Let me give you a little tip about the Metro doors. They do not have one of those things where if something gets stuck in it, it bounces open. When they close in DC, arm gone, leg gone. One time I got a suitcase stuck in the door and they would not open it for me. Suitcase hanging out. And they and then they yelled at me over the intercom. When it closes, it's done. They were, they literally like, they're supposed to look to make sure everyone's on the train. Didn't look, closed my suitcase in the door. There were still like three people behind me about to get on. They do not give a shit. It's a fiasco just as <laughs> I feared. Oh, I'm sick, sick, sick about the whole thing. He's smiling, you know, he says he hates it and he's sick of it. But he's definitely smiling. He likes, he's messy and he loves drama. Yes, your fears seem to have been quite visionary. I was in the museum when it happened. <laughs> Not telling me you did it. Have you spoken to the police? I told them everything I know. I mean, I coughed up my brains right there on the table. Okay, my official prediction is it's him. 
So, do you think this is linked to the thefts in Topeka and New Mexico? That awful red hand was left on Prudence Rutherford's jewelry box in Topeka and on the display case in the museum in New Mexico. What's the chance they're not connected? He's like, I didn't do it. And there's red ink all over his hand. Do you know Prudence Rutherford personally? Oh, we saw each other at functions now and then. Poor Prudence. She adored that necklace. Oh, Jesus. We have a lot to say to him. Okay. What's the name of the museum in New Mexico? The Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. They had a beautiful collection up there worth a bundle, too. Chaco Canyon. I appraised oh, some but pieces Henrik. for them a few years back. Henrik did used to work there, apparently. Why do you think the thief is leaving this red handprint? To be a gruesome scoundrel? Joanna says you performed an act of wizardry in helping Beach Hill acquire the Pakal carving. Getting those provenance docks together was a pig and a half. Oh, they're on the up and up, I assure you. But ah, uh, to have been at the height of my career back before the crackdown, those <gasps> were days. What crackdown? Maybe sometime I'll tell you a sad story I call How Mexico Lost Its Sense of Humor. Not today, though, Nancy. So he th wait, does he think because people don't get to rob artifacts anymore that they don't have a Alejandro sense of humor? Alejandro says you're unethical, a modern-day conquistador, that you're robbing Mexico of its cultural history. <laughs> and I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground. A lunch money extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys and girls go hungry. Not this. Big yikes moment. When you sell a piece of art, what kind of commission do you get? Standard. 10%. It's no king's ransom. Unless, of course, you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? Oh, what's my Tamagotchi doing? Oh. The Pakal Thief's glyph message translates to it the just, magician look at that. yellow death. It got what into the honey. That and it ate all you the honey. <laughs> Sometimes they have little random events that play. My, uh, uh he, my, oh my gosh, she ate all the honey. I'd better get going. Bye now. It's at, I think it's every day at 4 p.m. It does a little, it does a cute little animation. <laughs> My Tamagotchi's got such a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, can I finally call? I feel like he's told me about them, so maybe I can finally call them. Pixel chicks? I don't know what that is. Is that a, is that like a virtual pet? Imagine having to dial numbers. You know what? They're fucking canceled. Their asses are so fucking canceled over there at the fucking Choco Taco. Not 8-bit covers. Um, I've seen the Pixel Pixies. Add cars on his stuff. Oh, interesting. I'll look into them. I basically, so as a kid, I had Tamagotchi, and I, then I had, I had some Giga Pets and some Nano, Nano Baby and Nano Puppy, whatever. I hope she's Hello, not accusing Nancy. Alejandro. Have you heard? <laughs> oh, I just heard. Have you heard? The Bacall carving was stolen from the museum. Well, I heard the alarms going off, but it wasn't until Henry called me that I heard the news. 
So you were in the museum at the time? I was dropping off the monolith agreement for Joanna, as I said I would. Did you see anything suspicious? I was running late. I just figured somebody tripped a wire and I kept going. Whew. Not I need to call... <gasps> Nancy said I have to call the police on you. I need to alert the police on you. I'm not doing that line. It's odd that I didn't see you. I was there on business, Nancy, not for tea. Did this... When did this game come out? Don't you care about the disappearance? Joanna is beside herself over the loss. We trying know. to guilt trip She him? will get her insurance money and forget about Pakal in no time. What about the Pakal carving? Wouldn't you rather see it in a case at 2002? each hill than lost Oof. forever? That artifact was lost to me as soon as he'd left Mexican soil. 20 so years ago? So my friend Pakal goes underground for a while until he is sold again. Suddenly, he turns up in Amsterdam or Hong Kong. Unless he is rightfully repatriated to Mexico, what's the difference? See, I don't think that he did it. I don't think he has the, um, the motive. Why did Mexico choose to lend the monolith to Beach Hill and not some other museum? Johanna Riggs outbid everyone. I had no idea a small museum like Beach Hill could afford such an expensive arrangement. Do you know much about Maya glyphs? You've caught me there. I know Spanish, English, Portuguese, and several indigenous languages, including a Quiche and Nahuatl, but I have yet to learn the language of glyphs. I don't think you need to apologize for that. That's a dead language. Do you consider Henrik a conquistador, along with Joanna Riggs and Sinclair? Henrik is a student of my culture and my heritage. I'm not trying to buy and sell it. We don't agree on everything, especially not <gasps> baseball, but I have nothing against him. Gay? Are they gay together? <gasps> Can I have gay in my game? I should get back to the museum. Goodbye. Gay? Gay together? Hi, gay. <laughs> I hope they're gay together. She always picks up these damn keys and then I always have to put them back. Put down the damn keys, Nancy. All right, how's Joanna doing? Need something? Apparently, a Topeka woman named Prudence Rutherford has recently been visited by a red-handed thief, too. Do you have any idea how I might get in touch with her? Afraid I can't help you there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Not the dead end immediately. She immediately said no. Oh, can I get in... I wonder if... Was Prudence Rutherford's number in here? Just she just casually puts her number in the magazine. I don't know. A close up of the jade carving. One eight hundred five 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 Yatty. Yatty Outfitters. Why don't you just call Topeka? Just call the. Five 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 Yaddy. Now there was something I was supposed to do with listening to the Oh, were these headphones things? Not Nancy coming back to steal more. <laughs> why did I steal that? Sometimes I I wonder why I stole the thing. Do the headphones plug in here? No. Oh, I don't know. I was supposed to do something with the audio tour, but nobody's told me how to run the museum yet, so I'm just vibing. Henrik? Oh. It's obviously not Henrik because he wouldn't have gone missing. I think he's dead. 
Oh yeah, there was Sunny June's. This thing had the map on it of... Kind of the art, art, oh, audio tours. Well, anyway, I think we're done for today. <laughs> the music ended right when I said that. Oh my God. Okay, let's save it before we fuck something up. Y'all told me to have two different save files. I believe y'all told me with this one. So this is save file two. <laughs> the game got sad, I'm quitting. <laughs> the game got sad, I'm leaving. Okay, sad. No, that was a blast. Um, I'm really enjoying this one. Um, on Thursday, so I won't be streaming tomorrow. We do record the podcast. On um, Thursday, we'll be playing Bratz. And on Friday, we're going to do a Photoshop stream where I make myself into a Bratz and photo ourselves into Bratz Im images. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this one. I'm glad y'all recommended me do this one next. Glad y'all voted for this one. It is a hoot and a holler. I will tell Justin that y'all said hope he feels better. Um, but I'll be seeing y'all on Thursday. <gasps> Thank y'all once again for all the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are freaking amazing. Y'all are the reason I get to do fun stuff like this. Thanks for being here for the Tama Mail opening. That was a blast, too. Um, loving it so far. Y'all take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Stay well. Love y'all so much. I will see y'all on Thursday.